What's going on YouTube? This is the Big K Cops 360 here, and we've got some fresh news you know, out of Japan. Now, apparently, AMD held a, the annual event there, and they actually had some good news for the fellas over there. Now, apparently, this is just rumors, you know, so nothing's confirmed, but apparently, AMD is going to be coming out with the Challenger to NVIDIA's GTX 980 and 970, as well as the 980 Ti. Now, they talked about this at the Japan event, where they plan on releasing the the R9 380X and possibly 390X as well as the 370X in February of next year, next year being 2015. Uh, so pretty much what AMD plans on doing is they're going to have the R9 380X and it's going to be based on 20 nanometer architecture by TSMC and it's going to compete with the GTX 970 and the 980. Uh, on top of that, they're going to have the 370X, which is supposed to compete with the GTX 960, and the 390X is going to be that hydro-cooled uh, card that's supposed to compete with whatever NVIDIA comes out with, uh, you know, after the 980, so like 980 Ti or another Titan-based card. So the 390X is actually supposed to compete with NVIDIA's highest-end card, the highest-end gaming card. So just imagine... AMD coming out with a challenger to the 780 Ti. It's they're going to be doing something like that, but in terms of the 900 series, uh, series of uh, Nvidia GPUs. So what does this mean? Uh, hopefully this sparks up the GPU scene. I mean, everyone's waiting for AMD to come out with a challenger for something new, so the prices get pushed down and Nvidia's forced essentially to come out with a 980 Ti. But you know, no one really knows at the moment you know, what's going to happen, but, um, getting, you know, carrying on, the 380X is supposed to be based on the Pirate Islands micro-architecture, it's supposed to have, the, oh, it's supposed to be powered by the Fiji GPU, and you know, blah, 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 you know, all this other technical shit, uh, you know, we can't really talk about tech, uh, specifications or any technical details until we actually see the card unveiled, so I'm not going to get into that, but carrying on, this this series of GPUs, the R9 300 series of GPUs by AMD, is supposedly going to have 3D stacked HBM memory. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, it's just stacked VRAM. I'm not really an expert on it, so if anyone is and you're watching this video, please, you know, comment down below, you know, give a more detailed explanation. But all I pretty much really know is that it's just stacked VRAM, so you can have more RAM on, you know, in like a area I guess so I don't I don't really know how it works all I know is that it is much more efficient and you get much better performance out of it versus GDDR5 so you know who knows what's gonna happen with that uh, the funny thing is that Nvidia don't actually plan on using 3d stacked memory for a few years so I don't really know how legitimate that is but anyway, that's pretty much it guys, there wasn't much to talk about, but there's a lot of speculation going around. No, it's just, just so typical, we had the same kind of speculation with the GTX 900 series, so we're going to have it coming with the R9 300 series as well. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and who knows man, maybe AMD really is going to just fuck up, fuck shit up man, hopefully... Just hopefully, they bring some really good performance and some good prices so the GPU scene sparks up even more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.